I personally believe, obviously, it is in place, but it comes with, with its challenges. So from a logistics point of, of view and uh, a planning point of view, um, solutions are in place. I, I firmly believe that then the tools are available to make vaccine distribution a success also in, in lower income countries. The knowledge and experience is available in Africa. We are used to, to overcome difficult challenges, but I think that the biggest challenge, uh, the biggest difference we see now is, uh, and I think we heard it from, from Maricel, is scaling up uh, because we need to uh, deliver substantial amounts of vaccines to, to difficult places to reach within Africa. So we're talking high volumes and, and possibly increased frequencies of deliveries because we heard about the schedules as well. So from our point of view, or from my point of view, our experience has shown that planning, collaboration and communication needs to be heavily focused on in, in order to overcome those potential shortfalls of, of infrastructure. Uh, I'm talking about possible lack of fridges and, and freezes for, for storages in, in various places, depending on, on where um, the, the jabs are administered. Uh, is it in a, in a center? Um, of a city or is it in a rural place in a, in a, in a domestic hospital and that's depending on, on, on various uh, capabilities of the various countries and, and in Africa alone we're talking 55 countries and, and, and every country has its own um, challenge in terms of infrastructure. However, I'm obviously one positive uh, thinker and, and I'd like to believe we are ready but planning, communication and collaboration needs to take place to, to do this.